Hello again. So now I am going to show you the way I mount this grounding clamp to the grounding rod. It has a flathead screws that I need to uh, unscrew or untight untighten. I turn counterclockwise. To loosen up the clamp, this way I can pull the clamp up, open uh, wider, to place it around the grounding rod. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's a. Uh, it's a squirrel in the background. So I'm unscrewing this. I can actually use my fingers. I'm just going to remove this piece of paper. This springs open. I'm just going to remove that because it stops uh, making connection or making. Uh, conductive uh, contact between the screw and the wall so, uh, so it's not it's not a conductor so I, I prefer to remove it even though you probably could leave it on it still will work I'll just remove it so now I'm going to place this around the, the, the grounding rod I think I need to loosen up the other side a little more Then we're gonna swing. See right here, it just swings over that shaft of the screw. But I still need to open up the ground and the clamp a little more. Okay. So now, yeah. Now it looks like it might just work. Like well, I'm just turning the screw so I can reach around. The hook, with the hook. So now it fits and all I have to do now is turn the screw clockwise to tighten it up. Now you can actually place this grounding clamp under the surface if you want to send the grounding rod below the surface of the ground so no one gets uh, injured by tripping on this rod, you can do so. I just want to have easy access so I can uh, connect and disconnect my my grounding wire from my generator easily. So this part here is a, another a flat head screw that goes into this clamp. Uh, so you place your grounding wire in here and you just tighten it up and it pinches the, the wire in there and keeps it snug. So that's the way I will uh, attach my grounding wire to this clamp. So I can ha have this uh, uh, connected to my grounding wire, which would then uh, allow uh, electricity to, to flow to the grounding rod. And uh, have a safe grounded generator and that's the, that's the, uh, pretty much it on attaching the grounding clamp to the grounding rod thank you for watching